Mm. Hello, everybody. Pat uh, Adams Point from Sports Radio 610. What has this night been like for you? Uh, uh, long, I mean, frustrating. Wake up from a nap. You use your nap every day to hear the person that uh, raised you and, you know, nine other cousins or siblings or whatever. And to hear somebody, you know, to hear that he passed. And, uh, the man of the family. Uh, Didn't have any children, but accepted everyone. Um, each one of us, like it was his, like like we were his, and it was tough, man. Tough. He's been in my life since I can remember. Uh, been in my cousin's life since I remember. Uh, it's tough. So today was a tough one. Uh, Pat Brian Smith, Houston Chronicle. Um, what was your grandfather's name? Uh, name was Reese Morris. Spent a lot of time uh, in the military. Uh, my grandma uh, adopted a lot of children, so growing up, I had a lot of siblings, and you know, and he was there since the beginning, as long as I can remember. And uh, um, it's just tough, man. It's, it's so hard, so tough. I mean. Just him been at every single game that he could probably make it to. Um, <laughs> tough one for me. When you when you walked off the court, Ryan Anderson, you know, who you're obviously close with, he, he, he grabbed you close. Mike D'Antoni was praising you after the game, saying you're the heart and soul of this team. How how did basketball in game four help you, you know, maybe get through tonight? I mean, I... I mean, I talked. I talked to my family members. You know, my my first cousin. You know, all my family back home in Chicago. You know, everybody. You know, wanted me to. You know, play tonight. And I was. I was gonna try to get on the next flight uh, to Chicago. And, you know, I'm. 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 I'm really a strong guy, and I, I can deal with a lot of things. But I can't. I, I can't deal with anybody suffering. And you know, he 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 suffered, but he's. I mean, he's in a better place now. And uh, and I try to go out there and uh, I try to go out there and play as hard as I could for my teammates tonight, man. And it was just tough. I had to be there for my grandmother. I mean, that's that's the only man she knew for the last twenty six years. I had to be there for my mom. I had to be there for my cousins back home in Chicago. You know, he, he he suffered, but he's, I mean, he's in a better place now. And, uh, and I try to go out there and, uh, I try to go out there and play as hard as I could for my teammates tonight, man. And it was just tough. I had to be there for my grandmother. I mean, that's, that's the only man she knew for the last. 26 years. I had to be there for my mom. I had to be there for my cousins back home in Chicago. It's just tough, man. It's just it's, it's tough. It's so tough, man. Cause everybody know I work I work so extremely hard to prove you know to prove myself each and every night and to have somebody that was right there support me the whole way. Wore my jerseys every single day of his life. Wore my Russian my Russian jerseys every single day of his life, man. To have a person like that, man, just you know, been taken from you is hard, it's so hard. But you know, it's a bigger plan, and I'm gonna keep my faith, of course, and I'm gonna be there for my family. But you know, but you know, anyone who who has you know grandparents, mothers, whatever, you know, to have them taken away from you is super, super hard. Thanks.
uh, Mark Spears, ESPN. James, talk about uh, Patrick's emotions and how he uh, used them to push him tonight. And also want to see if you could just talk about his career, like the, what, the struggles he, he took to get to this point. Uh, first, I mean, honestly, I didn't even know. I didn't even know uh, about the loss, you know, of his uh, grandfather. But uh, he's just a warrior, man. Uh, you know, so much adversity, uh, you know, you know, through his life that he's um, had to go through to get to this uh, to get to this point. You know, so he's just a fighter. You know, no matter what, no matter what obstacles coming this way, he's gonna get through it. And, you know, so he's just a fighter. You know, no matter what, no matter what obstacles coming this way, he's gonna get through it. And, um, you know, obviously he didn't take the the perfect, you know, college, get drafted high, um, to to get to where he is. He had to go overseas. He had to fight his way. Uh, and then once he got his opportunity, you know, he kept going. And and that's why he's a starting point guard for the Houston Rockets now. But, um, you know, tough tough you know fight for him, uh, especially you know going through his family. And um, you know, you no, know, he's a key piece of what we do.